Welcome to another episode of Northwest Fishing Secrets, guys. We are now in full lockdown in Washington State. We are quarantined by governor's orders. <sighs> and I can't breathe in that thing. But we got the sad news yesterday that Fish and Wildlife did ban all recreational fishing in the state. So that's what we're gonna talk about right now. Even if you're not in Washington, you might wanna know what's going on here uh, so that you guys are informed and maybe ahead of the curve uh, on stuff that could maybe happen in your state due to the current uh, viral uh, pandemic that's going on. If you guys are brand new to my channel, then, uh, well, yeah, this isn't usually what I do talking about this, but right now is just not normal times, right? Usually we're out fishing, uh, out in the salt water, the fresh water in Washington state and having fun wrangling big monsters and sharks and doing delicious catch and cooks. So that's, that's what we're gonna get right back to after this video here, but this is important news, so I had to share it with you guys. It's also almost the one year anniversary for Northwest Fishing Secrets, so I am absolutely stoked uh, that we're still making videos, and guys, the videos are gonna get even better here this year. I'm really not worried about it. It's gonna be amazing. But uh, this right here did obviously uh, shock me a little bit yesterday. I did not expect this all of a sudden to happen. Washington Fish and Wildlife came out with a statement uh, saying, right here, and I quote, the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife today announced its decision to temporarily close recreational fishing and shell fishing statewide in the wake of Washington Governor Jay Inslee's order directing Washingtonians to stay at home and stay healthy to limit the spread of COVID-19. And by no means, just straight off, am I trying to downplay uh, the, the outbreak that we're having, okay? I wanna make sure that all of you guys take the precautions uh, to, to stay healthy, uh, stay at home if you have to, especially immune compromised people. That's who we're trying to protect uh, with a lot of these laws. So this is no, by no means, this video is not trying to bash any individual or organization or any government. This is non-political. I'm just trying to explain what happened and I will give my personal opinion. But again, this is no finger pointing, all right? So I'm sure that on Monday's speech, uh, you guys saw uh, what all we now are allowed to do in Washington, what we are not. I am issuing a stay home order to fight this virus. The point here that we're gonna talk about, and this kind of goes into my opinion about what just happened here in Washington, is that the governor during that speech did exempt outdoor recreational activities so that we don't go insane during this time. So this does not mean you can't go outside. If you feel like going for a walk, gardening, going for a bike ride, we consider these things essential activity too for everyone's physical and mental health. Uh, and he said, as long as we are not forming groups um, or meeting others uh, outside, then it's okay to be outdoors. We all just need to practice social distancing of at least six feet to protect ourselves and others. Uh, this closure, by the way, uh, as of right now, uh, is supposed to last at least until 5 p.m. on April 8th. So in case you didn't know, uh, yeah, don't 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 just go out fishing, guys. Uh, by the way, like with this whole thing, I'm not saying like what you should or sh should not do during this closure, right? I'm not gonna say what I'm gonna do or anything. This is just information. This is not any type of legal advice, all right? So uh, I ain't judging, okay, on anyone else's opinion or action. They obviously say that they don't take this lightly, and believe me, I do not believe that Fish and Wildlife takes this lightly. I'm sure they are getting a ton of fire remember that there's not everyone at Fish and Wildlife is excited about this either. So my main concern here is that this whole decision could actually have a counter effect. In my opinion, going out responsibly in a non-group fashion, going out fishing by yourself uh, is probably a lot healthier in these times than uh, being stuck indoors, getting bored, calling your friends over to hang out and do movie nights and stuff like that together. The same people that would ignore the social distancing rules out fishing will ignore those rules uh, out in the general public or at home or in their communities as well. So in my opinion, this will not actually change anything. There are, however, a couple points where fish and wildlife does have a valid argument. Endangered species like salmon and steelhead do require uh, what's called creel sampling. They wanna see your fish and scan your fish for tags and stuff like that. Of course, that does require human to human contact, close human to human contact. But you know what, in that case, just shut down salmon and steelhead fishing. I would understand that. I know it sucks. I, I'm not saying that I'm for it, but I would understand that decision just based on uh, the human to human contact that is required from their scientists. Uh, then of course they mentioned uh, that they have reports of increased amounts of people going out fishing due to not having work and uh, they're seeing social crowding at popular spots. 
well then shut down the popular spots, guys. I, 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 again, I'm not saying I'm happy about shutting down the popular spots, but if the problem is to limit uh, social gatherings and to really prevent the problem, which is human to human contact, then um, target that. Don't target everything else. So that's my two opinions right there. Absolutely shut down the, the, the popular spots, shut down salmon and steelhead, but and enforce social distancing, but do allow people to go out by themselves and outdoor recreate. The governor did not specifically ban outdoor recreation. Not all is doom and gloom though. Uh, these last few weeks have been super busy for me. I have been out fishing in anticipation of a potential shutdown so that we have plenty of episodes that I can edit during this time. So the show will go on guys. We're gonna have plenty more fishing that we're gonna show you. Uh, if you're stuck at home, we'll keep you entertained. I'll have some badass videos for you. Oh, that's a fish. Yeah. Oh no. Oh. He's zinging. Oh. <laughs> Bright, dude. Bright. Oh, she's beautiful. Dude, I told you guys that's the rapid fish right there, dude. Phil. You called it, man. I called that rapid fish. We need a tumble here. Oh, there she goes. Good work. Dude, this is good. I've also been working for the last few months finally on merch. I don't know if you guys saw this, but we got merch, baby. You guys have asked for Northwest Fishing Secrets merch. I've got several sweet designs that you guys can see in the shop. Don't want to talk about it anymore. I, I hate selling stuff, but again, you guys asked for it. Uh, anyways, I'll leave a link to it in the video description below. Guys, I was about to upload the video and uh, just got some breaking news from Fish and Wildlife, so I have to include this in this video. So I am communicating directly with Fish and Wildlife leaders on this whole uh, issue, and they were kind enough uh, to send some clarifications and additional information about what is going on. Remember, this is brand new stuff. This year's actually, this is brand new. I don't even know if this is like public yet. Uh, this is a couple hours old. Um, it looks like there is a little bit more to the story uh, that we haven't even heard yet. A lot of the stuff we already know from their official statement on the website, but there's a couple uh, points here that are actually new. So one thing is that Fish and Wildlife does actually acknowledge here, uh, and I, I'm quoting from this email, fishing itself is probably not going to violate guidelines for social distancing. The problem uh, is that all the elements that facilitate the fishing activity, everything from leaving the house to stopping and getting gas on the way, touching the pump, stopping in for some ice, or hitting uh, local small grocery stores in smaller isolated areas all over the state, uh, which of course people will disperse too if we shut down local fisheries, um, that kind of stuff spreads the virus uh, then a lot quicker throughout the state and into isolated communities that would otherwise be protected. A lot of these small communities have reached out actually to Fish and Wildlife with that concern and mentioned that their hospital capacities simply cannot handle any more infections because we're talking really small communities. So if all of a sudden something breaks out there, everyone gets sick, they're going to have a real problem on their hands. So that I have to say, guys, that does make sense. Believe me, I am absolutely bummed um, that I can't go out and just go from my house into the mountains and go fishing. But I do understand not everyone does it like that. Now, the other part is completely out of Fish and Wildlife's control. Um, the governor announced that only essential uh, employees and businesses are able to still stay in operation. So it looks like that... Um, a lot of fish and wildlife's operations and employees are deemed non-essential. So they're out of a job here for the time being, and it is actually crippling uh, fish and wildlife's operation from within. So it's almost like you have a company where half your staff can't work, and it essentially cripples uh, the company to the point where you have to shut your doors. Uh, and that is just kind of where fish and wildlife is at right now. Uh, so it's hurting them as well. This is not, um, and, and I can only emphasize enough that they uh, are not taking this lightly. Uh, it really sucks. Remember, I'd say far more than half the people within Fish and Wildlife are uh, hunters and fishermen as well, and uh, they, they are not happy about this on a very high level. These are not normal times, and therefore we are seeing non-normal decisions. So it's just something to keep in mind, guys. Again, this is kind of just giving information showing both sides. We're humans, we have our own opinions, uh, but I do wanna make sure 
uh, that, that we do look at every single detail and think critically about the whole thing. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about this whole thing. Like, how is it affecting you in your state? Are you guys still allowed to fish? If you are in Washington, what are your plans for the next couple weeks? All right, guys, I need to get out of here. It's starting to rain, and uh, I need to edit this video for you guys so that you get this news as fast as possible. Um, and of course, we will see you guys next week with an actual fishing adventure. Maybe I'll even upload something like this weekend. I don't know, let me know. Do you guys wanna see like more videos every week or during this time, should I upload more? Um, what kind of stuff do you wanna see? So uh, yeah, anyways, we'll see you guys at the very latest next week. If it is currently legal for you, then uh, you know it, fish on.